I had a uh, bike accident in February and I went to the emergency room and I ended up having a collapsed lung and any type of trauma, they do a full body scan. And during that scan, they uh, also found the tumor in my kidney. At that point, it was recommended that they were going to uh, remove the kidney. I wasn't convinced that that was right for me. I'm an active guy uh, and the thought of having um, one kidney was uh, was very concerning for me. And so we talked about uh, other options and, and to their credit, recommended Dr. Porter. I'm James Porter, Director of Robotic Surgery at Swedish Medical Center. When Mr. Kemp was seen by the other uh, urologist, um, the recommendation for treating the tumor was to remove the entire kidney. And that was based on the fact that the tumor was in the center of the kidney and that removing just the tumor uh, was not going to be possible. When I saw Mr. Kemp in our office, we discussed the possibility of being able to remove just the tumor and spare his kidney. And again, this was done with the robotic approach. So when I came in to see Dr. Porter, um, a few things that stood out immediately was his, his communication style. Felt like I was able to understand very clearly what he was telling me, and he was able to provide me um, the potential of saving the kidney and, and removing the, the tumors. So the team that helps me do robotic surgery uh, is a team that I've worked with for years. And one of the key uh, uh, points to being successful with robotic surgery is consistency. So it's not just consistency doing the operation, but who's helping you do the operation. So I have the same scrub nurse, I have the same circulating nurse, I have the same bedside assistants, uh, I have the same anesthesiologist. I, I purposely try and use the same people on a routine basis so that um, they know what I'm doing all the time. There's less variables, and when there's less variables, um, there's less chance for error. The hospital visit was short. It was a day and a half, actually. I think I, I went in Thursday morning and was released on Friday afternoon. So one of the benefits of robotic surgery is that patients get out of the hospital sooner. So on, on average, if somebody has a partial nephrectomy with the robot, they stay in the hospital between one and two days. So it's, it's on average, it's 1.5 days. I got a phone call from Dr. Porter on Saturday morning um, just checking in with me and I and to me that was really critical it was it just told me that he was thinking about me he was thinking about uh, the work that he had done and was committed to to my health and my well-being and that was extremely important to me I think Mr. Kemp's case is a prime example that we are continuing to apply robotic surgery to situations where previously we would have just taken out the entire kidney and he would only be left with one kidney for the rest of his life so it's been um, Three, three or four months, and I am 100% back to, to my normal activity. So off-road bicycling, off-road motorcycling. I'm extremely fortunate to Dr. Porter for, for performing the surgery that he did. There's nothing that I did before that I can't do today.